Welcome back. Now we'll be discussing pathophysiology of cardiopulmonary bypass. Please note this is a topic which qualifies as a separate course. Uh, it could be discussed thoroughly um, in, in hours and hours. It's a very vast topic. I will here just outline a brief mind map to explain to you the basics of it so that you can further read um, um, and further look into it in different textbooks or uh, papers as, wish, as you wish. Now, in the pathophysiology, I postulated this brief summary. So the way I look at it, it's uh, simply looking at the uh, five cellular, pr five plasma proteins and five cellular systems creating uh, five cardinal effects eliciting itself on five cardinal systems. This is just a brief summary, a mind map, which helps you to look into it. This is a diagram also, which outlines this uh, summary. So. In red, I put the five uh, uh, um, plasma proteins, which are the contact system, the extrinsic and intrinsic pathway factors, as well as the complement system and cytokines. These will lead to five cardinal, uh, uh, un, um, will, um, will activate five cellular systems, that is the neutrophils, the monocytes, the endothelial cells, platelets, and lymphocytes, um, um, as well as, of course, the coagulation cascade produ uh, produced down in the hierarchy these will lead to five cardinal effects that is increased susceptibility to infection capillary leakage vessel dilatation thrombosis and bleeding at the same time how is that possible simply because thrombin activates or catalyzes both production of clots as well as fibrinolysis there is obviously a regulation system which which decides which um, which side uh, which arm is more uh, manifested we will not go into that in details. However, those are the five cardinal effects which are elicited later on five cardinal systems, that is the cardiovascular, the respiratory, renal, neurological, and GIT system. Uh, just in brief, again, outline of the effects. For instance, cardiac-wise, we are talking about negative contractility. Why is that? Because of myocardial edema after cardiac surgery, after bypass, and also arrhythmias are more, uh, are more, um, uh, more uh, prominent. Uh, we'll discuss that in more details when we discuss the post-operative course and ICU. Uh, Vascular-wise, we are suffering capillary leakage in here, vasodilatation and bleeding tendency. Respiratory-wise, again, negative ventilation effects. Why is that? Due to IP shunts, lung collapse, obstructive uh, factors such as mucus plugs and bronchospasm due to edema in the bronchial tree, as well as uh, restrictive factors such as pulmonary edema, again, due to capillary leakage and vasodilatation. Renal-wise, we are talking about a fluid overload at the same time simultaneous with concomitant with intravascular depletion. This is why in the post-operative care, we find patients who are um, hypovolemic, manifesting as hypovolemia, responding to fluid challenges, yet on the balance, they look at a fluid balance of one liter positive or one and a half liter positive. How is that possible? This is due to this phenomena. Capillary leakage and vasodilatation leads to fluids going to the wrong space going to the extracellular um, uh, compartment rather than the intravascular space. As I said, we'll explain that in more details when we talk about ICU and post-operative care. Neurologically and GIT patients are susceptible to strokes um, and GIT uh, problems such as, my why is that? Due to microemboli, due to hypoperfusion states, um, uh, paralytic areas is common post-operative in any surgical patients, stress ulcers due to activation of the catecholamines, innate catecholamines, stress response, corticosteroids, linen and the tensin system. This is in brief to explain what is the pathophysiology of bypass. We'll discuss that in more details. Just a take home message in here. Remember, bleeding is a very important point you need to be aware of in the post-operative period. Why the main cause of bleeding or the main point leading to susceptibility to bleeding is actually platelet dysfunction. Platelets both in number and function reduce after bypass. You lose platelets in the circuit, they adhere to the circuit or in the field. Also their functions get inhibited by activation of the cytokine system and cellular system. Uh, also heparin effect. 
um, uh, susceptibility to infection that's also one of the points the cellular systems with in inhibited lymphocytes activation cytokines effect from lymphocytes and neutrophil uh, uh, exhibits itself as more susceptible to infection patients are more susceptible to infection after going through bypass these are two of the important points you need to bear in mind um, uh, in the uh, pathophysiology of bypass um, this is just an MCQ to test your knowledge. I hope um, we'll meet back in the next section, which is conduct and meaning. Thank you very much.